Hi, my name is Ryan from Alberta, Canada. I finished third in TradeNet's $240,000 trading competition. In this video, I'm going to answer some questions about my trading style, my plan coming into the competition, and just my overall experience. Before the competition started, what was your trading strategy and money management strategy that got you through this competition? I would say my strategy is, my trading strategy is I look for stocks that are gapping up or down more than 3%. Also they have a average volume of more than a million shares traded per day. And also they have elevated relative volume that particular day. And I typically want them to pull back, um, then I'll hopefully get an entry as close to the VWAP as possible in the direction of the gap. Um, so short if the stock gaps down, long if it gaps up. And I'll just let the trend play out and I'll stay in the trade until the trend, bur the trend breaks. Um, but one thing that I do look for if I get in a trade right off the open, sometimes I'll I'll let it uh, run with the trend and I'll take a third of the position off at close to three to one. Then I'll let it pull back towards VWAP and set up again. Um, this way I can get a bigger position and still with the third of the position that I took off previous, I'm still limiting my risk. Um, and yeah, I'll just let that play then again and follow the trend and get out when the trend breaks. As far as the money management, um, I typically look for the competition. I looked at, we had $3,500 of a maximum daily loss. So I just called that 3000 just to give me a little bit of a buffer. And I also use a rule where if I lose three straight trades, I stop trading for the day. So I just kind of combined the two and came up with a thousand dollar trade per trade risk. So if I lost three trades in a row, that will be three thousand dollars, which is still keeps me safe below the thirty five hundred dollar max daily loss. And so if I did lose those three trades in a row, then that would be it for my day and I would shut it down. Did the strategy that you used for the competition differ in any way from the strategy that you thought you were going to use prior to the competition starting? I would say that my money management strategy did not change, but my trading strategy did slightly because I noticed early on that stocks would trend in one direction and once that trend ended it seemed like they would completely reverse for the rest of the day or at least pull back to the VWAP and didn't really set up that great anymore. So my strategy of taking a portion off, letting it pull back to the VWAP and then adding to it for a bigger position wasn't really working. So I mostly had to stick with um, get into a trade and let it run with the trend as soon as the trend appeared to be reversing, I would just cut off the whole position and yeah, that was it. What was the most memorable trade that you had during the competition? I would say that it was TLRY on the final day of the competition. Um, it was my biggest dollar win of the whole competition and yeah, just worked out really nicely, went according to plan. Um, I'll switch the camera over, we can look at the chart. So here's the chart of TLRY. Um, yeah, it gapped up that day, pulled back in the morning there. When it got back around the VWAP, I started to get interested. Um, I entered the position right here, right in this area, around 43.30, 43.40, 40, 
um, I think it was about 2,000 shares. Um, I stopped down in this area, just under 43. Stock popped, ran up to 45, almost, almost 46. Pulled back, I decided to add to the trade up here. Um, at about 45.50 using this 44.80 uh, or so as my stop and I added another 3,500 shares giving me 5,500 at the time and I think we got a nice dollar pop from there again I realized at this point I had an opportunity to make about $10,000 on the trade um, at 46.60 so I just put an order in at 46.60 to cover my entire 5500 share position stock got up there filled me and yeah that was it so that was my best trade in terms of a dollar value I made about ten thousand dollars on the final day what was the one thing that you really liked about the competition and then give me one thing that you would change for future competitions I like that everyone was given a $240,000 demo account. Um, I'm sure that's a much bigger account than most people in this competition are used to trading. So with the bigger share size, bigger wins, bigger losses, I think that alone, just dealing with the emotions of the bigger size, that was very educational on its own. Um, yeah, I liked all the rules, I thought it was great. Going forward, I think you may need to add another couple of rules. Uh, one in particular, just remembering that on day one, I think uh, someone, or multiple people, I think were up over $30,000 on the first day. So I think going forward, if everything were to stay the same as this past competition, I think people would realize that that may actually be enough to win the competition in this case it would have been so I think they that people may just take one good trade and get you know I don't want to call it lucky but it could be lucky and make a big amount a large amount of money on one trade you know and then just kind of coast the rest of the way in my opinion I think it should be a rule in place something like Maybe you need to make $500 uh, five out of the 10 days or something like that. Some rule where you need to show that you are actually consistently profitable, not just one big trade and then hold on for the ride or the opposite where you really don't do a whole lot for maybe nine days. And then on the 10th day, just kind of somebody just goes for it and gets lucky and hits one big trade and that person can win the competition because of that. I think you would need a rule in place that, you know, would have to show that you're actually consistently profitable and not just that one trade that can win the whole thing. What was your average share size during the competition and how many trades per day did you average to win the competition? For average share size... Um, I don't really have, I don't really trade in terms of taking a thousand shares or two thousand shares. I just base everything off of my thousand dollars, in this case risk per trade. So if it's a 50 cent stop loss, I'll take, you know, two thousand shares. If it's a dollar stop loss, I'll take a thousand shares. And yeah, then in terms of the average trades, average number of trades per day, um, I probably average maybe five or so trades per day, but as the competition went on, you know, we were seeing how everyone was placing after every trading day, so um, I would kind of try to anticipate where I thought people would finish, and you know, after the morning session, if I didn't have, if I didn't make enough that to bring me up to where I kind of wanted to finish that day, I would maybe keep trading, so you know. As the competition went on, it probably was closer to maybe seven, eight trades a day. How did you like the TEFS trading platform for speed and performance during the competition? Um, I thought the platform was great. Uh, you know, I don't use a lot of indicators, only VWAP and volume basically, but you know, 
There's a ton of indicators to choose from if a person wanted to use that. Uh, performance of the platform was, you know, great. Speed was great. I've used equity platforms accounts in the in the past. You know, you may only get filled a partial uh, with CFDs. That's not an issue. You know, you click the button, you're filled. Uh, you, you can use market orders because the speed is so quick. You know, and you're not going to get too much slippage. So I found that very helpful. And yeah, overall, platform worked great. I had a great experience with it. How would you describe your feelings and your emotions throughout the competition each and every day? Um, I think my emotions were pretty good. I think that to be successful in trading, you need to be fairly level most of the time. Um, you know, not get too down when you lose. Don't get too up when you when you make money. You know, you just have to stay pretty even keel. Uh, I came into the competition uh, probably a little too aggressively. The first day didn't do too well because of that, so I think after that I just sort of settled down, realized just need to be kind of consistent throughout the entire throughout the entire competition. You know, stay level, stay grounded, and you know that's what I tried to do. And uh, yeah, just kept trading my plan and. Yeah, stay consistent the whole way. Did your experience match your expectations in the world's largest trading competition? Coming into the competition, you know, I obviously wanted to do well, but I think as well I wanted this to be another good learning experience. And in that regard, I think it was a very, very good learning experience. You know, like I said before, with a bigger account. Um, also, you know, it's not wasn't real money, but it's was different than just like a straight demo account because there was actually something at risk. Um, so I think it was as real as it could possibly be without actually being like you know your own money. So I think in that way, you know, this was definitely met my expectations. Um, I learned a lot also got to see you know how other traders how they trade um, with the top 50 being posted every day and then each day the top three would be you know we actually get to see the trades that they took the previous day so I think all that getting another perspective seeing how other how other traders work I think all that was you know such a great learning experience and uh, yeah that was that was great. One of the best parts of it, I think. If we were to ask you prior to the competition what place you would finish in, what would you have said? Um, I'm not really sure. Um, given that there were 3,000 competitors, I knew it was going to be very difficult. And also, you know, when you see traders on Instagram and YouTube and things like that it seems like every trader out there is a millionaire so I didn't know if it was gonna take ten thousand dollars or a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars to win the competition um, but I would have been confident in my trading ability so I probably would have said at least you know a top 100 finish um, but I am very happy with the results happy with the way I traded um, and very grateful to have finished third. So that's going to do it for the video. I just want to thank TradeNet for organizing the competition. It was a great opportunity. I had a lot of fun, and I just think it was a great learning experience. Thank you.